In this tutorial, we are going to run through how to set up a higher scoring personality quiz. I'm using an existing template to demonstrate this, and it's a budgeting personalities quiz. So it's what's your budgeting personality style? There's four different personalities you could be, um, and they range from the conscious budgeter to the reluctant budgeter. So if we head to the platform, you've got the icon of the pencil and the ruler, which is a scorecard builder. And we can start by heading to categories. Now, these are going to be your personality styles. Um, and if you just select add category, give it a name and then hit save. Once you've added those, you can head to questions. Um, you can see you've got your different personality styles listed above. Um, and in this case, it is one question um, that is used to determine where the points get sent. So I'll just show you that in this case, have you created a budget to manage your outgoings? And then you need to select different categories per answer. And if they have, yep, yeah, all the time, those five points would go to the strict budgeter. Yes, occasionally, the points would go to the conscious budgeter. If it was yes, but, well, then the points would go to the relaxed budgeter. And if they say, no, I don't, I don't budget at all, then the points would go to the reluctant budgeter. So all of the questions are multiple choice buttons. We've selected different categories per answer. Um, and each of the labels sends the points to the relevant personality style. So all the questions have been set up in that way. So if you go to add question, you choose your multiple choice buttons, you write your questions, you select different categories per answer, and then you start to add your different answer options. So you could do it that way. You could also, if it's not just one question that applies to all of them, you could put the questions directly underneath each of the different categories. The platform will work out which one they've scored highest against, um, and then it's the way that we display the results in the end, which we're going to head to now. So if we click on the results page to edit it, we need to ensure um, that we have picked up the correct section. So if we go to add a section, it is the individual category sections that we need. And this will say, you know, thank you for taking the test. This is what you are. So you are the relaxed budgeter, for example. Um, there are some other section types. These are all section types relevant to individual categories. So, um, for example, you know, you could have a video um, for each of the different personality styles. I'm just going to head back and I'm going to show you. So I've picked up this particular category style section um, and you've got my different personality styles. So you need to click on each one um, and add the content to support that category, that personality style. You, there's other formatting options as well. You can add an image for each one. So it may be that you have a number of individual category sections that are relevant to each of the personality styles, but you may also just want to add general content sections as well, uh, which is completely fine. You would just go to add a section um, and you can pick up any of those section types. So thank you for watching. Um, good luck setting up your quizzes. If you do need any further support, please feel free to um, get in touch with us at support at Thank you.